Good afternoon, sir. May I see some picture and signature identification, please? Sure. Here's my driver's license. That should work out fine. Mr. Calandro, could you verify that this is your current address? Yes, that's correct. Oh, okay. After verifying the voter's address, have the voter sign above his name and next to the number. Ask the voter if they would like a ballot mailed to their home for future elections. If the voter says yes, fill in the oval to the right of the voter's name. The inspector must write their initials in the PW initial box. This certifies that the voter's signature has been compared. Remove the sticker and place it on the ballot ticket. Return the voter's ID with the ballot ticket and send the voter to the ballot distribution manager. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. If there is a red message above the voter's name, the inspector will fill out Section 1 of a multi-purpose affirmation. Here are a few examples when the inspector needs to fill out Section 1 of the multi-purpose affirmation. Hello. Hey, how are you today? Just fine, thank you. Good. I've come to vote. Good. We're glad to have you here. Thank May you. I see your picture signature ID, please? Oh, I'm sorry I don't have it with me. Was I supposed to bring it? Well, we can get along without it, so don't worry about it. We'll get you voting today. Right. Tell me your name, please, so I can make sure you're in the right place. Elizabeth Dablo. Elizabeth. Oh, you're right here on my first page. Okay, Elizabeth, is this uh, your current address? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So we've got you in the right place. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this sticker here and put it over here on the multi-purpose affirmation. And then I'm going to send you to the clerk, and she'll make sure that you will be voting a provisional ballot today, and you'll be as good as gold. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank She's right you over there much. dressed in the um, red, white, and blue shirt. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. If a voter does not have a picture and signature ID, the inspector completes Section 1 of the multi-purpose affirmation. When filling in Part A, the inspector will fill in their initials, the precinct number, the voter's name, and the voter's registration number or date of birth. In Part B, the inspector will check the box that says person is in precinct register and circle the correct political party listed in the precinct register. Under Part C, the inspector will check the box that says no identification. The voter sticker is then removed and placed in the box below. The inspector gives the multipurpose affirmation to the voter and directs the voter to the clerk. Hi. Hey, good morning. How are morning. you today? Good. Good. Glad to hear that. Do you have your picture signature ID for I me? I sure do. Good. There you go. Okay, thank you. Find your name right here. There you are. Oh, good. Let me ask you, is this your current address? Uh, no, it's not. Nope, I, I've moved. Oh, have you? Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to have to do, Lee. Uh, I'm going to fill out this multi-purpose affirmation mm -hmm. and send you over to our clerk. Um, she's going to make a phone call. Okay. And then just double check. I can still vote today. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes, and not a problem on that. Okay, you're in my precinct register. Okay, we have an address change, and I need to get this data here. Your registration number, two zero, and your date of birth I've got here. Excellent. Okay, and I'm going to check that you are in my precinct register. The address change for okay. you. If you'll go over there, she'll make a phone call, and then she'll tell you whether you're coming okay. back to me or whether you might be going to another precinct. Okay, fine. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Bye-bye. For a change of address, the inspector completes Section 1 of the multi-purpose affirmation. When filling in Part A, the inspector will fill in their initials, the precinct number, the voter's name, and the voter's registration number or date of birth. In Part B, check off whether or not the voter is in the precinct register. Check address change in Part C. Give the voter the multi-purpose affirmation and direct the voter to the clerk. If the voter is allowed to vote in that precinct, the clerk will bring the voter back to the inspector and the voter will sign in as usual. If the clerk brings a voter that is not in the precinct register to the inspector, the clerk will add the voter to the buff pages of the precinct register. The clerk will add to the buff pages the name and address of the voter, date of birth, voter ID number, 
the reason why they are being added to the register, and the ballot style number recorded in Section 2 of the Multipurpose Affirmation. Once this information is added by the clerk, the clerk handwrites on the ballot ticket the voter's name and ballot style number. The inspector will then complete the check-in process. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Do you Good. have your picture signature ID ready for me? I do. Here we are. Thank you. Okay, put this right here. Oh, your name is right on the top. Ooh, guess what, though? I have a memo that we mailed you a ballot. Do you have it to give to me? You know what? I forgot. I think I must have left it on my desk. Oh, not a problem. Don't worry. What I'm going to do is fill out this multi-purpose affirmation. Will I be able to vote? Yes, we'll send you over there and the clerk is going to be able to make a phone call Great. and make sure that um, the ballot has not been turned in. Let me get this registration number and your date of birth. Okay. I've checked that you are on my precinct register and that we've mailed you a ballot and you're going to take it over to the clerk Very and she'll good. verify that it hasn't been turned in. And, okay, and thank find you. Out. Right over here, Yes, right? right over there. Thank you. You're more than welcome. If the voter has a ballot mailed message in the precinct register and the voter did not bring their ballot to surrender, Section 1 of the Multipurpose Affirmation is completed. After completing Part A and B, check off Ballot Mailed in Part C and give the voter the Multipurpose Affirmation and direct the voter to the clerk. If the voter brings their ballot to surrender, the inspector takes the ballot and writes Cancelled across the front of the ballot envelope and when time permits, returns the canceled ballot to the clerk. Let's review the role of the inspector. Once the inspector has asked for the voter's picture, signature, identification, the inspector finds the voter in the precinct register. The inspector makes note of the number to the left of the voter's name and checks to see if there are any red messages. The inspector verifies that the address in the precinct register is the voter's current address. The voter is asked to sign above their name and next to, in this case, the number 6. This is the same number you noted to the left of the voter's name when locating the voter in the precinct register. By remembering this number and telling the voter to sign above their name and next to this number, there is less of a chance the voter will sign on the wrong line. Once the voter's signature is compared, the voter is asked if they would like a ballot mailed to their home for all future elections. If the voter says yes, the inspector fills in the oval next to the voter's name. The inspector initials next to the oval, certifying that the voter's signature was compared. The voter's sticker is removed and placed on the ballot ticket. The picture signature ID is returned to the voter along with the ballot ticket, and the voter is sent to the ballot distribution manager. Remember, if a voter is added to the buff pages, the clerk must fill in the voter's name and address, the date of birth, voter ID number, the reason for adding them to the buff pages, and the ballot style number. The clerk must handwrite the voter's name and ballot style number on the ballot ticket. Once this is done, the inspector continues with the process of checking in the voter. And remember, like a book, read the precinct register left to right and you won't miss a step.